All right, so we have successfully loaded our data into Power BI, and this is the data set. You can see data sales, Adidas, locations, and products. And if I go to my table view, you can see those tables here from your table view. So you can see this is data, data sales, Adidas table. And if I click location, this is location table. And if I click products, this is the product table right here. So what is next for me to do now is to kind of do a data model to connect the fact to the dimensions. Like I said, this one here is a fact because it's, it owes the transactions. It owes the record, right? But the locations are just static um, list of all the locations and product is also static list of all the product. And that's refers to as a dimension. So if I go to the model view, you will see Power BI has connected them automatically right and that's because power bi find that like there's a relationship between them and if i have my mouse on this line you see it's connecting products to products products to products and it's using ones to many so products have many here in the fact uh, but product is only showing here once that's what one to many means and here you have location location uh, is practically showing um, one to many as well which means location is showing once here and then uh, it's showing many times in this in this space so another dimension i would also like to add is the date dimension it always makes sense to kind of have a date so there are different ways you can have a date dimension you can either do it uh, just in excel you can use power query to create a date table or you can use a dax functions to create a date table so but my my own case i'm going to use a dax functions right so i have these functions that i've already created um in my notepad i'm going to draw the the this file in my descriptions below so you can download it and use it so i'm going to copy it right and then i'm going to go to my power bi desktop i'll go to modeling tab then from modeling tab i'm going to click on new table new table right because i want to create a new table with dax I'll, I'll, i'm going to talk about dax later right but right now i'm just going to paste some things inside the new table so you can understand what dax is and how you can write it so once i paste uh, what i copy inside here you see this is what i copied and this is just saying that i want to add a column i want to use a function called calendar auto to generate calendar for me automatically and i want to use um I want to add some columns like date ID using values. I want to add year using a function called year. I want to add month number using month. I want to add month using a function called format. I want to add quarter using a function called format, year, month, right? So if you don't know how to create this, you want to learn how to create this from scratch, I have a video on my YouTube channel that shows how to create um, uh, this, this particular uh, date. I have a video on this on how to do this, so you can always check that out. So once I'm done with this, I'm just going to click okay or enter okay so you have successfully created a table for me called calendar so let me go to my model view and connect that to my fact so right here you will see that um, this is my calendar table right here and i'm just going to add date to date here and you see i'm connecting dates so you can drag from here to here date to date and you can see it's also using the one to many relationship right one to many relationship and it's connecting dates to date. So this is our data model. Once you have this data model correctly, then we move into doing calculations.